Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today I got something special for you. I'm going to do an unboxing of my front seat covers and show you a little bit more about what they are. So as recently stated in my other video, I went with the Cover King seat covers for the rear seat just due to the price. I didn't want to spend a whole heck of a lot of money on these as the back seat won't get used much. Occasionally my dog Rocco comes with. Also if we're only going to take one vehicle to the job site then the guys can hop in the back of this truck. Now I'm pretty darn excited to get these as I've owned the truck for about four weeks and this is the only means of protection that I've had on the vehicle. And this towel is worthless. So let's get these new seat covers unboxed and see how they turn out. Alright guys, so I actually had to take a break from making this video and now two days later I'm actually getting right back to it. Every time I've walked by this box and seen it in my garage it's been driving me nuts. So finally tonight I bit the bullet and we're going to unbox these for you. So let's get into it. Front of the boxes do not use a sharp object to open, could damage the product. So we're just going to score the sides and then hopefully just tear that box open. Being that I spend good money on these, I don't want to rip them. So right off the bat, it tells you exactly what you ordered. I bought these from CoversAndCamo.com. Neil actually shot me an email and called me the night I ordered just to verify that everything was the right order. Um, however, it looks like they must source their product from Rough Tough Company. So it goes on to tell you exactly what you ordered. Looks to be a installation manual. One thing that the previous video I did on seat covers, the uh, seat covers from Cover King did not include. The main reason for that video that I made on the Cover King seat covers was because they didn't include an installation manual. So this is well appreciated. Thank you, Neil. So they actually give you a full-blown installation guide on how to install these seat covers. So that's very appreciated. Thank you, Neil. Okay, now moving on to the actual seat cover itself. This seems to be a lot better material than the Cover King seat covers. Just didn't fit the best. Probably the main reason why they're a lot cheaper than the covers and camo. So this appears to be a bottom of one of the seats. Um, now Neil called me, like I stated, the night I ordered. He clarified that I selected the wrong material in the use of what I was looking for. And he said, however, we can swap in a pistol pouch for the material that you do want. Something along the lines, they were the same price, whatever. Plus I respected that and I opted to just trade even with my selection versus a pistol pouch. So nonetheless, what I paid for, I could have gotten a little bit cheaper However, I opted to go with the pistol pouch, so it was a fair even trade. And Neil actually suggested that, so that's what I ended up going with. So this pistol pouch, if anybody hasn't seen any of their videos, it just tears right off the front of the seat. And sorry if I'm referencing this wrong, I believe it's called the pistol pouch. Inside, there's a pretty hefty pouch in there. So clarification, I only got one pistol pouch. That must have been the fair difference in the material that I selected versus the material that I wanted. The passenger seat does not have a pistol pouch. However, you can get the seats in any configuration you want. You can get a pistol pouch or whatever for both seats, one seat, you name it. Again, if you guys could feel this material, you'd realize what I'm saying in comparison to the Cover King material. The Cover King material seems a lot cheaper quality. Nothing against them at all, it's just, this seems to be a lot better. And now for the most interesting key point of these seat covers, they do come with a lot of pockets in the back. This is looking at the back of both seats, they're the same. And you have a pass-through pouch here, and then you'll have a pass-through pouch on the other side. Most people opt to use that as a gun holder. You can slide a gun through one and into the other, and then that will hold your gun for you. However, I don't plan on carrying guns on my work truck, so I'm not quite sure what I'll stuff back there yet. Maybe a spare jacket or something. However, in addition to that slide-through pocket, each end has a Velcro as well. 
So you can open that guy up and then stuff this pocket full of whatever you want. Also with that said, this panel up here has a lot of molly webbing across the top. There's three rows of it. So I plan to store voltmeters and infrared temperature gun. I'll just put it right here, unzip the case, pull the tool out, and then go to work. Now moving on to the bottom of it, this also has a pass through for a gun. So you can store two long rifles, two shotguns, whatever you want. There's also two pockets instead of one big pocket on the bottom. So you have the two pockets in front. And then you also have the pocket inside that sleeve as well. So there's a pocket here, and then the pass-through is behind it, and then the two pockets in front. So the next time you guys see me in this video, I'll probably be in some different clothes. It is around 11 p.m. right now, and like I said, I just kept walking by this box and it finally ate at me enough to get it open. So three days later, I got around to it. Um, if you guys were wondering why my truck's gone, it's actually getting wheels and tires put on it tomorrow morning. And then when I get it back the next day, then I'll be putting the seat covers on for you. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so moving on to the seat cover installation part of this video. Now in the newer model trucks or other vehicles, they have side impact airbags in the seats. And the first number states if you have side mounted airbags there will be a velcro on the outer side of the seat cover for the airbag to deploy so i went and started looking however i noticed right away they're labeled driver's backrest so i know this is the driver's seat that is a huge thumbs up step two states fold the backrest up half of the way step three slide the backrest down as far as you can then roll them down towards the rest of the way if you have rear pockets be careful that you don't have your hand in the rear pocket as you're pulling down rolling Tells you how to remove the headrest even. Huge thumbs up to these guys. Cover king, not so much. So grab your handy dandy little poker tool, paper clip, whatever. I just happen to have a scratch all in my toolbox. This is what I'm gonna use. Extend the headrest up all the way. Push the button, poke this in. Step two stated to roll this up part of the way and then slide it over top. So what I did there is I actually undid the velcro portion of the airbag. We'll see if that helps. Okay, step five. Once the cover is on, feed the front flap through the space between the backrest and the bottom of the seat. Pull as tight as you can, making sure it is not wrinkled. We'll give that a go. Okay guys, once you get it pushed through, it just kind of hangs out in the back of the seat. So then on the back of this, there is Velcro. I already went ahead and attached it, my apologies. And I don't want to rip it off. But on the back portion of the seat cover, there's a Velcro strip. And that attaches to the OEM factory Velcro. Fit and finish so far is very good. All right, moving on to installing the bottom bucket seats. Place the bottom seat cushion cover on the bottom seat and position it into place. You'll be able to distinguish the driver's seat cover from the passenger seat cover by distinct markings such as the openings for seat belts, electronic controls, pockets, holsters, etc. So here we are, the bottom seat cover, the pistol pouch. I'm going ahead and remove that just to make it a little easier to install. There's three straps on the back, so we're gonna tuck everything down through and then hope to fish them around underneath the seat and then up to the front of the vehicle. Now, if you happen to notice, one thing I did is I reclined the seat back to make it easier to get my hand underneath there and tuck those straps under. All right, I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but there's plenty of junk in the way. I'm gonna try and go around the back of the seat and feed them up to the front. Bingo. Got one of them. That's going to go through here. Like 
that. And then this guy. I assume these are gonna tie together. There's one on that side, one on this side. All right guys, now that we're done up front, we'll just tie the two strings here really tight. Moving on to the headrest. Undo the Velcro. So after battling it a little bit, I did end up getting it. Now with this company being a super tight fit and high quality, it is kind of hard to get all their stuff on, so this one was kind of a trick. All right guys, moving on to the center console lid. Now I do have the bucket seats with the full center console, so I don't know if they make one of these for the bench seat with the lid. That you'll have to do some research on your own. Okay, so I'm gonna start in the back of the armrest first. There is a little lip here, and that should tuck in behind here. No! Not cool. Well, I just broke the strap on here. Um, I just grabbed a pull and go like this. I don't know if they might have only stitched on a few stitches. I don't know if they might have only stitched on a few threads or what the deal is. So what I'll do is I'll probably leave this on temporary until my wife can sew this up for me. I don't think that's on them. I might have pulled the hair too hard. It would almost be helpful to have a second person hold one of these straps while you hold the other and Velcro it. All right, well guys, this is the finished product. As far as the seat cover quality, I'm gonna have to give it a 10 out of 10. The fitment on these things are amazing. My wife and my mom and a couple other buddies that I showed to already, they think that it looks like a factory setup. There are a few wrinkles in it, but I don't think it's that bad. Nowhere near as bad as the Cover King seats in the back. Um, my driver's side seat looks even better. So I don't know if it's just from me sitting on it for today while I was at work or what. The headrest turned out great. Here's a better view of the driver's side now that it's daylight out. Fitment is very good. Pistol pouch hanging out up front. Um, as you guys all saw, I broke the strap for this guy, so I don't expect the fitment on this to be amazing. However, even the front one isn't the best. I'll also send this video to Neil and see what he thinks about that back strap. I don't expect him to give me a free one. However, if he does, then that'd be great. Um, like I said, I'll try and see if my wife can sew that back on, and then we'll go from there. So the armrest isn't a deal breaker for me just because it's pretty darn cheap and the seat covers themselves turned out fantastic. So here's a better glimpse at the main attraction of these seat covers. Yes, the seat cover fitment and durability is second to none, hence the reason why I chose them. However, another drawing point to these seat covers was the pockets in the back. Going from a service van to a work truck, I'm losing a lot of cargo space. So to make up for the loss of that storage, I thought these things would be a huge hit. As you can see, there is a pocket right here. This is designed to hold a gun. Um, this will pass through and then come out here and go to that one. I don't plan on using those for guns, but maybe I can find a need for them. Maybe stuff a sweatshirt back there or whatever. Up here, there is some molly webbing. So I plan on installing some infrared 
thermometers and voltmeters, manometers, gas sniffers, whatever up here. Back here can hold some parts. Then there's two pockets down below. Those can hold a few parts or batteries or anything that I don't want to put in the back of my truck. Then there's another pouch down here. Both seat covers are the same, so each one has two pockets on the bottom and then a giant pocket up top with the molly webbing. And then in addition to these two pockets down here, there's also a pocket behind it that is pretty darn deep that will go all the way to the end. And then behind that guy is again another slot for a gun to pass through and go over to the other side. So in conclusion to this multiple day video, I highly recommend the covers and camo seat covers. As you guys could see, the installation was a bit finicky, but it wasn't any harder than the Cover King seat covers. Regardless of the difficulty of the installation, the quality is second to none, and I highly recommend them. Again, if you guys were wondering where I got the seat covers from, I'll post the link in the description down below. Let me know what you guys think. Did you like the first video of the Cover King seat covers, or do you like the new covers and camo seat covers? I'm pretty upset I tried saving money and going with the cheaper ones for the back seat. I don't think the fitment's that great and I wish I would've went with the covers and camo seat covers. So sorry Neil, I wish I would've did that in the back. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys wanna see more truck content and see how I end up setting this thing up for future work, please subscribe to the channel. Until then, I'll see you guys on the next video.